I'm gonna do a quick review of the Meter Plus. Um, the number one question I see everywhere is, what's the best meat probe, what's the best meat probe? Um, the answer is the Meter. So I'm gonna walk through it, I'll talk through it, I'll get into the app, I'll show you some of the really cool features because I actually think the app is one of the, um, one of the shining stars for this in general. The, the app sort of changes, uh, changes everything as far as wireless meat probes are concerned. So uh, let's talk about the actual probe and the case and everything like that. So um, this comes in this sort of nice block case. The probe sits inside the case. Uh, you see it connects here with the little metal connector and two in the middle. That's what charges the probe. So this case charges the probe and that's how it's 100% wireless. Uh, what's really cool about the case is if we look in the back, these are magnets. So I actually keep this on the fridge. I just put it right on the side of the fridge like this. It sticks to the fridge and when I need it, I grab it. The battery is stored inside. It's just one single battery. Uh, this is a AAA battery, there's just one. And um, this is what charges the probe. I have had this for six months. I use it every single weekend, sometimes more than once a week. And I have not had to replace that battery. I've had no connection issues with the probe and it works really well. As soon as you take it out of the case, you'll see these lights start to blink. This is trying to connect to the phone and then green is it's connecting, red, you know, there's all different colors for different reasons. This here is a button for pairing and the light is just sort of a status light. The very second you take this out of the case, it connects to your phone. So in a minute, we'll get into the app and I'll show you the app and I'll screen record that. Um, so there's a few notches on this probe. So this notch here is, you want to insert this basically this far into the meat. So if you just insert it to where my pointer finger is over here, that may not be the most accurate reading. So that's sort of a downside, is that it's gotta go in pretty far, and it is pretty thick. So this is much thicker than the wired probes that sort of come with your grill, or some of the other solutions. But what is really, really nice is it is wireless. There's nothing here. And that matters for a few reasons. One, I use a Kamado grill, but regardless of what smoker you use, you want an airtight seal. I don't want my smoke leaving through any holes or openings. I want my smoke to leave through the smokestack. And uh, also, in my Kamado, I can use the rotisserie. So I can put this into uh, a rib roast or chicken or turkey, and you know, it'll rotate on the rotisserie and I will not have to worry about any cords getting tangled. I won't have to worry about you know, anything at all. So the way the probe works is, I told you it needs to be inserted pretty far. This half is measuring the temperature for the actual meat itself. Like what, you know, it's in the meat, that is, that's the internal temperature. This piece is the Bluetooth connectivity and then the back part, the top here, this is what's getting the ambient temperature, so the temperature of your actual grill. And that's really cool and really important because, and I'll show you this in the app, but I do all sorts of custom notifications. So if I'm doing a longer cook, I get my grill up to temperature, I put this in the meat, I put the meat on, I close the grill, and then I just tell the app, if my grill, let's say I'm cooking at 350 degrees, I'll tell the app, if my grill gets below 325, send me an alert. If my grill gets above 375, send me an alert. So this way I don't have to monitor it, I don't have to stare at my grill, but if something fluctuates too much in the ambient temperature, so the grill temperature, I get an alert and I can go figure out what's going on. Um, same with any other thing you can think of as far as alerts are concerned. You know, when the internal temperature is this, let me know because you know, if we're doing a brisket, once the internal temperature is 165, let me know so I can wrap it, right? So whatever you do, whatever your logic is, that's a really nice feature of the app. Um, and that's what's happening right here. As far as cleaning this is concerned, so you do need to clean it, obviously. It is not dishwasher safe, but um, I do soap it up and I brush it, um, you know, I'll scrub it with the, the sort of the hard end of a kitchen sponge. Um, you need to keep this clean for the ambient temperature, so I will scrub it a bit, and it's fine. It works well. So I think the range on this, they advertise 100 feet. I've never had an issue with it. Um, so my grill is outside. It's a thick Kamado grill. We shut the lid, we lock it. 
Uh, but what I do is when I go out there, so the, the way this works, sorry, let me back up. The way this works is this connects to this. And then this is what connects to your phone. So what I do and what you should do is keep this near your grill. So the 100 feet it advertises is actually from this. So it's 100 feet from this to your phone. This broadcasts the, the big signal. This is just probably the normal 30 foot Bluetooth jump. So I keep this on my table next to the grill and it's still outside and this is what communicates to my phone. So I have no issues in my house. I have no issues outside. The only time obviously I'll lose connection is if I get pretty far away. What's really cool though is this is the meter plus. It is the Bluetooth meter. But if I connect this, let's say to an iPad and that iPad is on Wi-Fi, as long as I leave that iPad on in my iPhone app, I can access this through Wi-Fi anywhere in the world. So basically it has to do a jump, right? As long as this is connected to a Wi-Fi device, any other device can access it, you know, through the cloud, through the app. So that's what's, you know, that's what's really nice about this. They do have the meter block, which is normal Wi-Fi. The problem is that the block is expensive and there's multiple. So if you want multiple probes and, you know, you'll just spend a couple hundred bucks and the block is great. If not, you just need one, then get the meter plus. It has the great distance. And then on top of it, if it's connected to a, a, a Wi-Fi enabled device, you can access it from anywhere in the world using a different device. So um, now what we can do is we can jump into the app. I'll show you some of the things in the app um, and, and most importantly, how easy it is to use and what it does and how it works. Okay, so um, we have the meter out of the, um, out of the case, so it connected to my phone. Uh, I don't have it in any food. So right now all we see is internal temperature. Um, that's the, that's basically the temperature of my office because it's not inside of anything. Um, there's three buttons up top or three notifications up top. We have internal, which is the temperature of the meat that it's in. And that's the, you know, the, the bottom half of the thermometer that we pointed out. There's target and that's what we've set the temperature to. Then there's ambient and the ambient, as I pointed out, was the top of the thermometer. That's the temperature of your grill itself. So anytime we start a grill, the first thing we do is tap set up cook in the middle and now it'll walk me through. I could just hit custom cook at the bottom, just put in my temperature and be done with it. But this is gonna give us you know, suggestions and, and tell us what it should be. So if I click on poultry, it's just gonna fly right over to 165. But let's do beef. Let's say I'm doing a ribeye. And it's saying, okay, you want 140. And if we look down, it's saying 140 is medium. But I can scroll, You know, I can do one degree increments here, or I can grab it and scroll across. And if you look on the bottom, as I change my temperature, it's bouncing between you know what that cook looks like. So I'm just gonna leave it here for whatever reason. And then I will click start cook. That notification I got is because my speakers on here are muted. So it's just saying if your speakers are muted, you're not gonna hear the phone if you get a notification. It's just a heads up. So now what this is saying is it's saying estimating cook time. So the estimating the cook time what it's going to do is that takes a few minutes to populate, but it's going to do a calculation between the internal temperature, the target temperature, the ambient temperature, and how quickly it's rising. So if I go from 70 degrees to 71, 71 to 72, and as it does that, let's say it's, it says, oh, okay, it took 10 minutes to move 5 degrees. We have to move, you know... 10 degrees, so it's going to take 20 minutes, right? That, that's what it's doing. It's doing a calculation to say how much time is left in your cook. It is really, really handy because there are many times where, um, you know, I'm trying to figure out dinner, how long, when should I put this on? And you always have an idea, right? You always in your head go, okay, well, it's a pretty big chicken. I like to do 350 for an hour. Let's assume this is going to be an hour. But my phone will tell me, okay, it's actually going to be done in 40 minutes and not an hour, or it's going to take a little longer. So it's really helpful because, you know, you, you have a gauge and as you check the app, it'll adjust that. So it's not going to do an estimated cook time and stop there. It'll always adjust if, you know, things are getting hotter, colder, or if things are changing. The other feature I always like to brag about is the custom notifications. So right here, the default notification is we're going to tell you when it's five minutes before your cook ends. But I can add, I click that little plus and I can add whatever notifications I want. 
So this is what I talked about before. The biggest things that I like to use are ambient temperature falls above or below. So we'll say below, and then I can set it for, you know, whatever. If my ambient temperature, if the temperature of my grill is below 212 degrees, give me notification. And now we see that here. If we go back in, I, the same logic for if my ambient temperature is above. The other thing that's helpful is um, obviously the internal meat temperature, um, but also time, right? After three hours, let's say you're doing three, two, one ribs. I don't use a probe for ribs, but for this example, if you're doing three, two, one ribs, say, okay, after three hours, notify me. Then once you wrap them, after two hours, notify me. So it's pretty, you know, it's, these custom notifications are very handy. You're not just stuck with whatever the app decided it wanted to tell you. So we've looked at the custom notifications. Now let's look at a few other things in here. So let's say uh, I need to adjust my cook, right? I, I originally thought we wanted these steaks rare, but now my wife wants them, you know, more well done. Or I took the probe out of this one. I'm going to put it into another one, make an adjustment. So we kick these three buttons up top on the right. And here is where I can make my changes. I can view any alerts that have also happened. I can adjust my cook. So I can come in here and make those adjustments. And there's a few options here. If I wanna do view cook graph, this is where I would see what this cook is looking like. So it's not in meat. There's no actual temperature going on here. But this is where I would see the graph of this cook. But let's end it. We'll end this cook here. Yes, I wanna end this cook. And now we can go into the settings. And this is when we can make adjustments on notification sounds. I have dark mode on, so that's why my screen is dark. And it's all very straightforward. Um, it's very easy to use. It's very simple. Um, and I personally love this, um, love this probe. So what I've done now is I've gone back to the home screen here. If I click on, uh, on the bottom left, this little pie chart, I can pull up. These are all the cooks I've done recently. So I can, let's pull up this whole turkey. So this turkey, uh, if you look at my videos, this was quote unquote ultimate turkey. This is the very complex one that we did. Here's the chart from that cook. So I said what I wanted the temperature to be. The, um, the, p the pink line is the actual turkey itself. The green line is the ambient temperature of my grill. You see it yo-yoed there because I would open it and do stuff. And then we have the blue line, which is the target. So we can go back to any of these cooks that I've done, whole chicken, right? Go to beef, any of these cooks that I've done, we can look at these graphs and then we could actually share them if we wanted to. I can click share cook where I can screenshot it um, or do what I wanna do with it. So overall, it's a very handy tool. Um, you know, a lot of people say you don't need anything special, you should know when your food's done. I find this incredibly helpful. I don't overcook anything because I set up my notifications because the app tells me, you know, where it is in the cooking process. And I have all of these tools that I can use, like the custom notifications, the estimated cook time and things like that. So all in all, it's the best wireless probe I've ever used. It's the best meat probe I've ever used. The downside is sort of that it's, it's thick. It's not this tiny little skinny thing that's gonna poke a small hole. It's gonna do sort of a substantial hole when you shove it into you know whatever you're cooking, but it's accurate, it's durable, and the app makes it incredibly useful. So if you have any questions, let me know. Um, but uh, you know, I, I always recommend this when people say what's the best probe that you've ever used. So you know, thanks for the watch. Um, again, comment down below with any questions. Uh, if you have something that you like better that works similarly, let me know. I'd love to try that out. So we'll see you again soon.